What's up guys, Mikey here. Um, I got a little gameplay for you, it's not really important. I just kind of wanted to get a couple things off my chest. I got, um, or I read some information today about Modern Warfare 3 that I wanted to share with you guys. I read that the game is going to be developed by three separate developers now. Um, one of which is of course Infinity Ward, the second is Sledgehammer, and the third is going to be Raven Software. And for those of you who don't know, Raven Software developed the game Singularity which I don't believe that I played. I might have, I can't remember. I, I forget all the games that I played. But um, they will be doing the multiplayer portion of the game, which might come to a shock to a lot of you that Infinity Ward isn't. But yeah, Infin Infinity Ward is rumored to be teaming up with Sledgehammer, and they're going to work on the single player. So yeah, we'll keep our eyes on that news story, see how that develops, see if um, we're going to get a whole new experience in Modern Warfare 3. But yeah, that should be interesting. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is the map packs that are coming out for Call of Duty Black Ops and they are titled First Strike map packs. They come out February 1st for Xbox and there's been no release date yet for the PS3 and PC users but if history is any judgment it'll probably be a month later. Um, but yeah, the map packs are going to cost 1200 Microsoft points which is $15 and they have four new maps. The first map is called Kowloon. It's a rooftop map. You, it also features zip lines that allow you to, to zip from one part of the roof to another, which in my opinion doesn't look like the smartest ideas. Um, Discovery is the second map. It looks like a giant map, and there's falling bridges, and I don't know if they're trying to rip off the whole battlefield idea by making um, the interaction with like the environment or whatnot, but looks dumb to me again. Berlin Wall is what Treyarch is calling their big map, and if it's big by their standards, it's probably gigantic. Um, auto turrets in the map look like they will probably be absolutely no fun. I can't imagine any players who are going to be excited to be killed by, uh, by AI, basically, by not even other players, and if that counts towards team deathmatch score, that'll be absolutely ridiculous. Stadium, however, looks to be the one shining point of the map. It is looks is said to be small. Looks like it's good for CQB close quarter combats. And um, yeah, it should be really cool. So yeah, as I mentioned, the map pack is going to be 1200 Microsoft points. And I know a lot of you kids out there are, are tight on Microsoft points or are not working and have to ask mom and dad. But um, I thought I'd do a little contest on my page to try and hook you guys up. So if, um, if anybody can name me the seven songs that were featured in all the intros to my Road to Ninja Pro series, you will be rewarded a 1600 point Microsoft card. That's right, I will give you 20 bucks in Microsoft money if you can tell me those song titles. And um, yeah, I'll value this offer for however long it takes it because I know my channel is small right now. But um, yeah, whenever anybody does get back to me with those titles, just send me in a private message and yeah, I'll value that. Alright, thanks for checking the video out, and uh, tune back and subscribe, and yeah, get back to me. Alright, bye.